Welcome to Shape Map. Shapes are all around us. We see one line, then two lines. Next, we see shapes with three lines, then four. We see circles like our life-giving sun. Shape Math helps us understand our real and cyber worlds in seven steps. My name is Kai. I'm in a bad shape. I do not understand the subject of Shape Math. Dad helps. The starting point is just that. Huh? We start with a point. What? First, draw one point and then draw another. Connect them together to make a line. I see that a pencil is a line. Two. Two lines meet at an angle. Pie and pizza slices are angles. Three. Next, draw three lines to make a triangle. Sun signs are triangles. Four. With four lines, we make a square. Windows are squares. Brownies are squares too. Sweets help me learn shape map. Turn a square to make a diamond shape. Like in baseball. When two sides are longer, the shape is called a rectangle. Like this door and my smartphone. Our next shape is a round circle. Every day, we see many circles like the sun and moon. That is right. Circles are useful to draw more shapes too. First, we draw a circle. Then, we cut it into five equal parts. Notice the five sides. This shape is called a pentagon. We can use a pentagon to draw a star too. We cut another circle into six equal pieces. Notice the six sides. This shape is called a hexagon. Bee honeycombs are hexagons. Shape math helps us measure how big things are. In school, I use rulers to measure. We use the size data to describe and design our world. Huh? Area is how much surface a shape has. We use area to find out how much carpet for a room, how many tiles for a floor, how much paint do we need for a wall. Wow! Flat shapes like those on this paper have two dimensions of length and width. Our world has one more dimension. Shapes in the real world have three dimensions. They have height too. Like this bar magnet. A 2D triangle becomes a 3D pyramid. Like the ones in Egypt and Mexico. I know what comes next. A square becomes a cube like these ice cubes or building blocks. Excellent! We see 3D rectangles with carts, tissue boxes, and trucks. 3D circles are called spheres. The sun, balls, and globes are all spheres. Combine a circle and rectangle to make a cylinder. Cans, cups, and candles are cylinders. A prism is a 3D combo of a triangle and a rectangle. I use a prism to split white light into a rainbow of colors. Our world is full of shapes. Math helps us make sense of all the shapes around us. I look for lines, angles, triangles, squares, and circles all around me. I have a secret about your video games too. What is it? Shape math is used to define the cyber world in your video games. Later, I learned that in video games, people and objects move because of shape map. Before we can score, game objects interact with each other 
because of shape map. So, there are lines and shape behind how I score points. Wow! I now know shape map. Tomorrow, I have a math test. I'm a little nervous. Hooray! I get an A! To close, shape math is significant. Who uses shape math? Engineers design airplanes with it. Artists create with it. Architects build with it. Nature uses it with the shape of flowers and other plants. Shape math helps us understand our round world and beyond. There is shape math in cyber worlds. Math explains vast outer space and is important closer to home. I use shape math when I wonder at the awesome world like everyday objects all around me. Life is full of linking lines. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 4 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded. Subscribe now!